hey everyone using one bag i'm gonna share and this is new i quite like it i'm gonna share with you a few of my favorite places where you can buy clothing that is that kind of high-end high street so this was actually a video request by rawin who emailed me a couple of days ago rawin's in q8 and you were saying if i don't want to shop in h m zara top shop where is good to shop from that kind of is not is not chanel money either and i'm going to share with you some of my favorite stores because there are quite a few places that i go to and as i say i'm going to style everything with this one bag because i'm finding this goes with everything at the moment sometimes trying to get ideas for places that you can shop from that aren't really really expensive but aren't also aren't uh fast fashion can be quite difficult and i've had a few questions about this over the years so from from my point of view i do own some fast fashion items and i you know you can go into h m and buy a bag full of stuff for 100 pounds and that is appealing particularly when it comes to basic items i totally get it and I also think that there is, um, or there can be, a kind of push to get people off fast fashion. But I think realistically, not everyone can afford it. So it's, it's all very well me saying this, but there may be some of you out there that at this point in your life, you're not quite at this level. And I don't say that um, as a put down. I'm trying to be realistic here because I think there, there's... A lot of people frown on fast fashion, but it's there for a reason. Not everyone can afford more than that. But I'm going to share with you some of my favourite places. The first place is Reese. I'm going to link to these things below because I have had some of you before um, in the comments from overseas saying, how, how would you spell Reese? So I'll put everything below. Reese I've been shopping from since around about uh, 2010. And I always really liked the place, but up until that kind of point, I couldn't really afford it. So the kind of things that you would find in Reese are it's perfect for work, but it's also really good for work to weekend things. The price point in Reese is around about, for the dresses I'm showing you, I think these were around about, yeah, they were around about £195. So you're looking at around about £200, depending on um, the material that the dress is made in. These are both knitted dresses, long sleeved. I specifically wanted to get these because going into winter kind of in the autumn months i want to be able to wear dresses and skirts but just to give you an idea and you could put this with some kind of flat sneakers or even a pair of boots um, or a pair of heels but yeah reese are really good quality and i have actually got um a jacket wool coat from reese that i bought in 2010 and i still have it and i still wear it and it's been dry cleaned many times and it still looks really good their knitwear just lasts and it washes well some of it's dry clean but it just lasts and there's nothing there's nothing i think with all of their things as well there's nothing about them that's too um stylized you can keep wearing them there's nothing about them that's really 2020. the other thing i meant to say that i really like about it is that their designs haven't changed in all the time I've shopped from them, which is uh, 10 years. This jumper, this style of jumper they've been making for all that time, the style of their coats, because of that, you never buy anything that dates when it comes to Reese because you can go back in there and everything kind of, as the years go on, everything still looks like the current things that they make. I'm actually going to be showing and reviewing this bag in an upcoming video, so keep an eye out for that. I, I, I absolutely really love it, and I was just going to say, I bought this with 10% off, and the 10% off that I used was actually one of my own coupon codes that Farfetch give me when I do videos for them. They are going to give me another one fairly soon, I think, but I don't know when. So I'll share that with you because anyone who's interested in this bag, if you can get a discount, do. And the discounts they give me, just to clarify, they're not commission paying. So I don't earn anything out of anyone using them. If I later find out of the discount and it's working, I'm going to put it below. But if it's not there, it's because I don't actually have it yet. 
The next brand I really like is Pinko. Pinko is good if you like something that has got a slightly younger vibe or style to it. So Reese would be kind of your um, more professional looking look, the kind of thing that you'd wear into the office. Reese of course also, they do menswear as well. So any guys watching, if you like the sound of it, go and check it out too. Pinko are a bit more playful, they're a bit more youthful, and they do really nice coats and jackets. Well, actually they do really nice everything. And I've got a, a coat here, which some of you have seen because I've shown it before. This is a tweed coat, and I'm actually gonna try, I'm gonna try this on, and then also try on next to it, a Chanel coat that I've got, my one and only, no, my second only Chanel coat. And um, you will see they're both very similar in the cut, the length of it, but also the material, and the Pinko one is fabulous quality. I mean, that Chanel one was an insane amount of money, and I bought it kind of as a very extravagant treat. Um, but this Pinko one's just as good. And the Pinko stuff as well lasts quite well when it comes to washing it and dry cleaning it. The only thing I do find with Pinko is that they do tend to follow trends, so um, some of their stuff doesn't always stand the test of time but um that's not to say you can't go in there and find find things that do i mean this jacket is a really good example of that another good place that you can try there are actually two and they're both online and they're not direct retail they're kind of uh, websites that jacket and in fact this top that i'm wearing both of these items are from farfetch and i find that farfetch and louisa via roma are really good places to go to if you want to shop from if you want to shop from that price point that's kind of anywhere between 100 and 400 pounds let's say for a coat or a jacket they're both really good places to go to to find things that are in that price range but you have a much bigger selection open to you you might even have brands that are not in your country and you haven't heard of and you can find them on Farfetch and Louisa Via Roma. So they are both really good places and they're places that I can spend hours digging around, adding things to my wish list, and the quality can be really good. Talking about Louisa Via Roma, I've got a couple of things from there. This is a jacket that I bought from there in the spring. It's kind of like a shirt jacket. Looks like nothing on the hanger, but when you wear it, it's got a really nice peplum style to it. This, I did get this in the spring though, so I don't know if it's still available. If it is, I'll put details of it, but it's from Louisa Via Roma. And it's kind of, you could wear it as a shirt. I tend to wear it as a shirt, but you could also wear it as a blazer. Things like this, I really like the peplum style on me because I don't have the widest hips. And I think that knowing your um, body shape and accentuating things that are uh, your strengths um, and kind of creating an illusion really I create kind of well I try anyway I try to create the illusion of a more hourglass uh, figure because I'm quite straight up and down in a way I don't know I think I am wearing a peplum kind of helps to balance me out so this is why I love this and I can see me always wearing this Max Mara weekend so a lot of you will be familiar with Max Mara, the main brand, and Max Mara is great, but some of their stuff can be kind of expensive. Max Mara, however, have a secondary line down. Someone on here will tell me the name of that. What is it called when you have a designer that's got a, their, their main top level expensive label, and then they have kind of a secondary one that's a bit cheaper. Someone tell me what the name of it is. Max Mara Weekend is good, if you want something that is good quality and has got that Max Mara style, but you're paying a, a cheaper price. I've got a couple of things here. One of them, are these actually both, I think these are actually both Max Mara, the main top line. These trousers are Sport Max, another really good brand. I've actually got, in addition to these trousers, I've got um, like a cropped off trench coat. Really like this brand. These trousers, also from Louisa Via Roma, I think I got them last year. They're slightly flared and I wanted to get something like this where I can wear them to work, but actually I got them because I wanted a beige pair of trousers that I could wear with a more weekend top and I could wear out on the weekend, either with sneakers or with heels. And then finally, two more brands. The first is Zadik and Voltaire. 
they do these really nice jackets. Well, I think they're really nice anyway. 2016, I still wear it. This was actually picked by my husband. He saw it and I was like, I don't really like army stuff. And he was like, I don't know, try it on. And I tried it on and I really, really liked it. Um, a lot of their stuff as well. You can even find this pre-loved. So definitely check them out because if you like that style, some of their stuff's quite pricey. But again, it's kind of that, you're looking at about 300 pounds or so for a jacket, but it's gonna last. And it, Zadig and Voltaire, there's, they kind of have that styling about them that's a bit edgy and really good for weekends. So for example, for me, I really struggle I think, to dress more casual. And I think I'm getting better at it. But the reason why I struggle with it is because I've got better since working from home. But because I'm normally quite formal for work, on the weekends, I end up going back to wearing my formal clothes because it's what I'm used to wearing. And um, I don't know, just over the years, I think I don't really want to wear a blazer on the weekend. I want to wear something that's a bit more relaxed, but it took me a while because obviously you work five days a week or more. Um, because you work so much, it took me a while to figure out a, a comfortable for me, casual style. Um, and this brand is really helpful for that if you're looking for that. And then the final, this is actually more expensive to a point where I'm not even sure why I'm including it, but I, I will because of um, cost per wear. No, actually not wearing So being able to know of some places that you can go to where they're a bit more conscientiously made and you've got that choice um, and you can go and buy a coat and you don't have to buy three because they all fall apart. You can just buy one. I think it's really good to know and I really hope that this has helped give you some ideas. I'm gonna put details of everything below. Some of the stuff I've shown is quite old now, but I wanted to do that because it goes to show that this stuff lasts, but anything that you can still get, I will link to. Thank you for watching and also, thank you for the question, Rawin. Very much appreciated and I hope that this answered your question.